A really clean car, a wet but still dirty car, a dirty car with a cracked windshield, or could it be none of the above? Let's get into position. Jim Bob, you ready to take the water up? Just about. Right, so we're raising about 200 gallons of water. That is roughly equivalent to four full bathtubs 100 feet into the air. After it's dropped about halfway down, the bag will flip over, releasing all that water and cleaning my car in an instant. Or not. Everyone ready? Yes. Ready for the light sprinkling? Yes. I think I may have my answer. Oh, my God! Yeah. So, the correct answer was D, none of the above. The force of the water not only cracked the windshield, as one woman in the crowd did actually predict, but it also caved in the entire roof of the car. No one guessed that a mere shower of water, a liquid after all, could do so much damage. Oh, my God! Wow! <laughs> Is it clean? Wow. Look at that. It's, a, it's now a swimming pool. Yeah. yeah. Can you believe that water did that? The 200 gallons we dropped weighed over 1,600 pounds. And dropping it from 100 feet allowed it to reach about 55 miles an hour. And at that speed, the mass of water may as well have been a solid object. Right, who says we should do it one more time? But this time, we'll keep the water in the bag. Now, by doing this, it means that the entire mass of water will hit a far smaller area. So, come on, then. Here we go. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Hey. Oh. 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 Wow. Wow. Look at that, man. Real hard. It's amazing that I could act like a holder. Yeah. If we did this, we'd be out of business. So the experiment was a huge success, but my one-second car wash idea may need a few modifications. <laughs>